in the back. Good Lord. Good. No, I'm going to go get it. Okay, you talk. Good morning, everyone. Uh, what project are you getting? Whatever you're supposed to be wearing today. Oh, no, it's right here. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I was like, good Lord. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, We're a little good morning, crazy. everyone. It's the rain. The rain, you know, we had an 80 degree day this um, two days ago two days ago and now here we are boom 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 hot 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 cold rainy mm. oh my gosh i'm a little tired just from the constant go 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 so i started a new project because that helps my mental health that brings us joy i'm wondering how many of you start a new project when you like need a little pick me up. I do. On my sweater, I just need to put the sleeves on a holder on a needle and pick up and do like an inch and then some ribbing. I anticipate doing it this week. But in the meantime, I needed some like brainless knitting. Um something small, Trish, yes, I should have started something small. Ooh. But instead I started a new project that could be one of our Olympic sweater contenders. I'm doing my first option is double stranded fingering weight, which would be great for the Mad Tosh light. Yeah. Uh, of the we have a Mad Tosh trunk show. Mo the majority of it is in store. We cannot get everything up on the website. We're going to apologize in advance. It's a logistics nightmare. So we put in as much as we could. So for those of you who want to participate in our local, we do have the Mad Tosh Trunk Show. Gorgeous, saturated, rich colors. We have sweater quantity in a lot of them. We have um, potlucks that we've numbered, not potluck, what do they call them? One of a kinds. Um, but this type of yarn that I'm using could be used for that. It is a summer top and I know I'm doing it in wool but that's okay it's thin that's really pretty color double stranded on a size six needle here's another thing you guys I didn't swatch now here's my theory I'm gonna measure this pretty soon just to see if I'm in the ballpark if I'm not I've only wasted a night's worth of knitting because I didn't have the mental space to also swatch I just needed to start something. Sometimes you just let the project be the swatch. Yes. That's what I did on secret project number three. Because I ended up ripping it out for two reasons. One of them was Gage. Yeah. That's the thing. Sometimes uh, there was um, the gal who does, uh, wrote the even easier eyelet. Um, she posted on Instagram, well, there. this is what happens when you don't swatch. And she's ripping <laughs> out a sweater. And I said, my sweater is the swatch. Now, you guys don't always want to do that. I kind of know. I've been knitting a little bit looser. But I was like, well, it's garter stitch. It'll be fine. But this is double stranded. Um, I can show you the colors. I think it's beautiful. I was thinking maybe Mad Tosh could custom dye us something if yeah. other people like this color, but it is like burnt oranges, magenta, and you hold it together. I think it's so pretty. It's similar to that one skein of Rios we have left over there. I can't think of its color name, but it's so pretty. It's similar to Art Yarns. Um, has a yeah. H something, which is yeah. orange oh, and yeah, pink, I but I there. really, the, um, single ply is so crazy soft. The thing is, dye lots are totally different, even though it's the same dye lot, right? They dye differently. That's the, that's the beauty. I wanted to say the issue, uh, the beauty of hand dyed, but so what if my back is slightly different? No one's going to know. You're not going to see both the colors at the same time. Hi, Jerry. Um, this is a souvenir yarn. So that's why I wanted to swatch out of this. I anticipate for, the Olympics, it's going to be done out of the linen, which you would not have to double strand. And so that's kind of my next one. But I think it's so pretty. You do these little tabs and then do a E cast on, which I'm not a fan of, but look at all the stretch you get from it. That's where are your little tabs? I wasn't focused, right here. focused on right? that. I'm in the middle of the row. Oh, fun. So it's like here. 
it's like a boat neck. So, um, for the Olympics, if you guys are new to boutique and doing um, Olympic events, uh, I'm going to say Olympic inspired events because I don't want the trademark uh, police to come after us. But in honor of the Olympics, we always do a giant knit along, three levels, gold, silver, and um, bronze. The gold level is you are going to try and knit a sweater. We're going to do different options. I'm thinking maybe a bulky weight cotton, which would be really nice. I'm doing what would be, it's probably a worsted gauge, somewhere in that, easy designs, fun knitting, there will be prizes, there's no medal um, from the people who started, then that will draw a prizes, and I even brought back stuff from Paris for mm. you guys, so I have the official pins from Paris, and they're so cute, I have a bag, um, and then for myself, I did break, buy a sweatshirt and a black t-shirt. I wish I could buy more for you guys, but I don't know what sizes you want. And frankly, I overpack my luggage every time and end up buying a new luggage, but so fun, fun, fun. So it's just a nod to our Olympic athletes that we start when the opening games and then you try and finish for the silver level. Normally Susan heads that one up because it tends to be a shawl. And then the bronze level is if you want to do a smaller accessory, like a hat, fingerless gloves. We want everyone to participate, but it's just really fun. Um, we'll do some free classes here for that and one online for the sweater. That's what I'm going to say. The sweater, I always do an option of a class in the store and an option um, online. But this year, I'm like, oh, maybe we'll have two or three options for sweaters. So something fun. I don't know, Elizabeth, whenever the Olympics are. <laughs> whenever the opening you ceremonies let me know. are. I'm just letting you know in advance. Here's so. a question, though. Do we start casting on with the our time zone or time zone where the Olympics are? Our time zone. Okay. Well, I don't care. Listen. Do whatever you want. Get up at 2 o'clock in the morning because that's essentially when it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Good morning, good morning. It's in July. Oh, of course it is. I have so much mm, in July it's to coming do. coming up. Are you sure? I'm sure you are sure. Thank you, Nancy. I'm looking it up right now. We have a lot. We may have to switch something. The July, ooh, Nancy, you're the winner, winner, chicken dinner. It starts, oh my God, it's gonna be exciting that it's in Paris. Oh, it's the end of July. That's perfect. That's okay, what good. I thought it was. July 26th through August 11th, I will be able to do the cast on party and then I'm off to Las Vegas mm. for back-to-back -back trade shows. I may come home for three days and then go and finish, do wow. the second one. Yeah. Take a slow and flight. And then I'm done. Yeah. Then I'm done with trade shows. Woo, woo. Take a slow flight so you can knit more. Right. <laughs> it's an hour. Can I have a layover in LA? Right. <laughs> Some people do that. Really? Yeah, I'm excited. The week after the retreat, yeah, whatever that is. Yeah, Melanie. I was like, ooh, Melanie, it's literally two weekends in a row. I could come home for like three days. So I'm debating. See? Oh, Nancy, nice. We have people who literally will take vacation from work to do it, but it's so much fun. It's going to be really good. But I think you guys will love it. I am in advance figuring out the projects, but for the sweaters, they're normally really easy. They're sometimes top down they're in the round I want to I want one to be on the bulky side but in a cotton so maybe nimbus stripes which is a mm. great one for it um I don't know what else I haven't decided you guys you'll be the first to know because I've only I'm testing pattern number one stay and play I know I have in Vegas <laughs> it's I mean to come home for three days and go back mm, either really way it's a it. lot it's a lot it's a lot. If you're there on the weekend, you're like, oh, I could have been home. Maybe bed, I but... go to the hotel, hang out with Melanie, and then go back to the hotel for the second trade show. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Let's. I have fun wherever I'm at, so it's exciting. So we'll share the progress. Um, hopefully, tonight I'll pick up. That's what I'm going to say. I will pick up my sleeve on the other one and get it started because you know I'm at the if you guys didn't know this 
I'm at the 90% done, probably 95. And for my uh, knitting, I'm like, eh, I'm done. But okay. I do want to wear it. And I have the knitting trade show in a couple of weeks in Chicago. If you start yours, message me and I'll try and work on those sleeves from the sweater Karen did for me. Wait, Karen knit you a sweater and all you have to do is the sleeves? Just, just the, yeah. Okay. Same squad. I'll well, message you. It's that one we did together. She did hand knitting. I did the machine knitting. She okay. finished hers. I'm going to write this down. Yeah. Heather Bartlemas, how does Hank do? Hank does great because I have people living at my home right now. Um, he comes when he sees me again. He's uh, crazy. And I can see he's lost some of his manners when I'm gone. But pretty quickly, his thing right now, which is driving me crazy, is when I wake up in the morning and we're going down the stairs, he's hitting my heels <gasps> with no. his pots. No. So I'm walking. This is literally how the reds. I'm holding their food and I'm walking like this. Wait, wait. I can't see your feet. Okay. Like this. So if he comes <laughs> too close, he gets You have kicked. to. Because I'm like, <laughs> stop. And he's so excited. Yeah. But I may need you to do a little bit of um, nail trim. Mm. I have used the clippers yeah, and have nicked them a bunch of times. But Teresa told me a trick. But I need help with restraining him with one person. That's hard when they're... Yeah. yeah. Stitch will do it for treats. But I nicked him nail too. So I was like, well, you're off. I, I saw a... I don't know what platform, but a video where the guy wrapped saran wrap around his head and then he put a big old chunk of peanut butter on there and the dog's just lick, 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 lick at but his head. But I don't, here's the thing, I need glasses to be I able know. to see it. So I'm like, okay, I could do that. But then Teresa was like, bend their paw back like this mm. and you can see the ridge yeah. that you can't cut below. I'm nervous and then I'm like, okay, 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 boom. Snip, and then snip, it starts and then bleeding, too far. right? And you're like, damn it. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Uh... I have a Dremel, but um, my older one, it gets too hot. Like, he's got, you know, older people, their nails get thicker. That's what I think about my dog. Mm. And they're black. Uh, Nancy, yes, this is a sweatsuit. I don't know. It's knit. It's knit fabric. I bought it on TikTok, you guys. I know you guys are sick of hearing me talk about TikTok. $12. Wow. It's got a cute little off-the-shoulder I think it's comfortable. I wear this when I travel because I feel like it's stylish enough, but comfortable. Hmm. I listen. I'm all for suggestions on corralling a uh, five-month-old puppy. I even tried the short lead, but I want him to have a good time. And then I give him so many treats. You know, his stomach's upset. I think it takes two people to train them, and hopefully they figure it out someday. Okay, well then, you're my trainer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 12, I'm telling you guys, I hate to say that about TikTok, but they have good clothes. That's, the jeans that I wear, they're all, I don't have time to shop at a store anymore. You see why malls, I'm curious, how many of you actually go to the mall now? I did, to visit Rita. There's a brass specialist in oh, Nordstrom, yes. well, and guess what? Going, but... She wasn't working. So I had a you young girl. Way out there. I did, and then I was like, I'll just figure it out myself. Was that Roseville? Isn't that where she went? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Deborah says, nope. A grooming table to hold the head, especially with a puppy. It helps. Yeah. I don't know where I would store that. Nope. They yeah. have folding ones. They do? They do. Oh, this is the most expensive dog it I've is. ever had. I just bought three inch scat bats for my counters. Now, the trick is training the people to do that, like yeah, laying them to out. Put it up. I got two kinds. I got that one. Um, Melanie, I did a little research. So, I don't buy from everyone. I did research on the company. So, because you know, my whole thing is I don't, I want people to pay, be paid livable wages. Um, this was a markdown, markdown, markdown clearance. So, that's why it was $12. I think they're originally $65. I totally squirreled, but. I don't even remember what we were talking about. Going to the mall. Angelus goes out sometimes. A lot of people are saying no. I haven't been in years. Oh, yes. I, I, I have a love-hate relationship with Amazon because it does hurt small businesses. But, my gosh, we, it comes to our house. Either my so son easy. or us almost every day. 
I just ordered things for the next retreat. Two things are shipping. I ordered the scat mats for the, oh, scat mats. People are like, what's, what's a scat mat? It works for your dogs, your cats. You don't want your dogs on the furniture. You lay this thing down that has five modes. It can just beep when they touch it, beep with a little bit of electricity and then strong electricity, but not so strong that it's gonna shock them to that it hurts them. I've sat on it by accident, Everly's touched it. She's not a fan, so now she's learned. This is the beauty of learning. <laughs> she looks to see if it's on now. She's nice. like, hey, can you turn that off? I wanna sit there. So I'm getting one for the counter. And then I also got cat prickly mats that I can cut so that if he jumps up, it hurts his paws, right? Mm. Um, so that's my whole thing with the dog because, let's see, let's see comments. Um, cashmere has great cashmere knit sweatsuits. I had a cashmere sweatsuit um, and it stretched out. So it got um, saggy butt, which I don't a, like that. Cashmere sweatsuit is such a weird combination of words you don't expect to hear. Cindy, actually, um, TikTok are mostly small businesses on there. So I know many people who have TikTok stores that are small business and it's how they uh, have really been able to survive. So yeah, I think support where you need to support. You are in charge of that. All right, grand prize. We've got a beauty um, valued at more than $150. We have the cashmere goat. Uh, we have lots of little stuffies here for your favorite little. We have a soak, which is a no rinse wool wash. You just use a tablespoon of this. So even this would do probably about 16, maybe a little bit more. I swear it says it on there. Um, I'm gonna say about 16 loads. Somewhere it says it, but my goodness. It's small font. It's small font on a clear background, so you really can't see that. We have two skeins of a retired yarn by Noro called Kiri. Uh, 385 yards per ball, so you have, gosh, 700. There's enough to do multiple, maybe even one of each of these, depending on the size that you chose. We have shallots. Gorgeous cowl, comes in three different sizes, mostly stockinette, and this is actually a increase with a pleat, which I love those. We also have Solmont. Um, again, I really think you could do all three of these if you did the middle size. Solmont is another cowl, it's a sequence, so the number, the stitch is the same, and it just goes around and around and around. And then we have beautiful sunset in the desert. We have a pair of um, socks. I'm the rainbow sheep in the family. And last but not least, we have this beautiful handcrafted bag by none other than Brenda's mom. Fully lined, high quality fabric. I love that there's a channel. She even matches. She picks out the um, ribbon for her, but it even matches. So there we are. That is the next one. I like all this tie-dye look. Marble. Yeah. Is it marble? It's marbling. Yes. Uh, yeah, because I think of this, but oh, yes. Oh, yeah. No, with paint, that's marbling, yeah. I believe. Some All right. Artist, Isn't it let beautiful? It is handcrafted. It has the squared off bottom, which is really nice. And we even, if you didn't know, we have fancy tags now. This is how I know I've made it. I have woven tags <laughs> for our bags. I love that. That's probably one of my favorite things about the bags. Um, Susan, how do they get entered to win the prize? So every time you make a purchase, whether it's online, in the store, or over the phone, the completed transaction will get you a one entry. So the more purchases you complete, the more entries you get. And we will draw it on May 1st, first, which is a Wednesday. That's on your list. All right, so pretty. Okay, this is delicious. Touch this yarn. Tell me what do you think that is? Cashmere. It does feel like it too. It is 80% extra fine merino wool, 20% cashmere. It is crazy soft. 
Um, but this is a DK weight, and we have this beautiful pattern called Ant Eater. You can see it's got zigs and zags. There's yarn overs. You have enough to do either the size one or size two. Oh, you know what? Did that fall off yesterday? I tried putting it on the bottom to see if it would work better. All right. It's temperamental. It's a... Because it does that. Yeah. All right. We'll see that. So a beautiful rosy pink color. This is all through engagement is how you are going to enter. You see these emojis right here. Every time you see something that you love, you think you're funny or you think we're funny, you can just do the shout outs for that. Really nice and easy. Um, every time you comment, you're going to get five entries for that. So... Oh goodness, and let's see, share to your feed. Oh my gosh. I know the W is not capital. I'm just sharing it anyway, because you know what? Done beats perfect, as I tell my children all the time. Share to your stories, share to your front, your feed. You just have to pop right in. Share it to my stories. Thank you. Oh, good gravy. There we go. Uh, you're going to get 11 entries for that. So that's a big way to get a bunch of entries. All right, let's see. I want to check one thing before you do that. Okay. Because I liked. Oh, you did that. Thank you. You already did it. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Here we go. Let's, let's see go, who's going to be the winner of this grand prize. Woo! That is awesome. Have we shipped pants? Uh, yeah, we did. we did. Pam Ang is in England. So Pam, as I say, we would love for you to come and visit us. Um, if you can't do that, the next time you make a purchase, let us know in the notes you have a prize and we will include it in your pretty pink package. We were on the ball. Your package went out yesterday. Yeah. All the rest will be going out today. We are training Brenda to become a postmaster. I think this is my new favorite enamel pin right now. Hold still, phone. Pretty pink flowers. Went really good with my cowl I had on yesterday. And if you guys haven't seen these, we got some pretty funny, okay, horrible suggestion napkins. They've got some pretty good sayings on it. They're funny. Well, we've got a similar item in coasters. I'm sure everyone here can keep that secret. Uh-huh. And some notepads that um, have some words on them. All right. Okay. Now I have to stand up. I am so excited. Susan's going to drop the link. I'm going to drop the link for a brand new color for the dream and color pop up for April. So a pop up club they do every two months, maybe for half the year. We ordered it in smushy cashmere and I'm going to pull out. It's so pretty. Bag. So you can see this, but it is gorgeous. I feel like it's a softer color of our exclusive. It is. It's a much more pastel version and I think this is gorgeous. I feel... I'm like, holding them in suspense. Oh, you are? Okay, <laughs> I haven't good. seen it yet. I was like, oh, have you seen it? <laughs> no. So I'm turning it around so you guys can see this, but here we go. This is our debut of Mystic Prism. This is a one and done order. We are not able to reorder it, but my goodness, is this so gorgeous. So it is in our one of our most popular bases called Smushy Cashmere. Let me pin this. Oh goodness, you guys are like, love it, love it, love it. Oh, I'm trying to pin, there we go. Um, Smushy Cashmere is a 70% superwash merino, 20% cashmere, 10% nylon, 400 yards. Here's the nice thing about fingering weight. You can do a top on a size six 
all day on it and it's beautiful and drapey. I'm gonna say it's a little bit brighter in person. It's on my camera, on my monitor, it is definitely um, softer. Yeah, but it's so, still gorgeous. In person, Nancy Powell, this is your color. So I'm gonna talk about all the different colors. You guys know a new company, uh, Dream of Color was bought out or sold to another company. Um, and they are doing a fantastic job of recreating palettes or creating palettes that really look like Veronica made this. There are so many gorgeous colors in this. Layers and layers, and that's what this technique that they do, multiple steps to get the same um so there's none of the muddy pooling and stuff that you get when too many colors mix to have this many colors and not have that is incredible so you can see so many colors right here there's a uh, violet violet violac yeah that works violet there's lilac there's wisteria there's a little bit of um Oh my gosh, yellow green. Ooh, hang on. Uh oh. We, we hit the camera. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Yellow green. There is beautiful aqua blue. There is some rosy pinks. There's a little soft magenta. Look at this green section. There's sage. There's yellow green. Touch the yarn. Does it feel softer to you? Yes. It does. I think the water is different where it's being dyed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Uh-huh. It's crazy. It's even better. It's even better. Uh, you can see uh, some of them are going to, and there's going to be colors on the back, but there's like peach. There's a little bit of sprucy green, a little bit of teal, this really light section. Here's what happens when you are buying multiple skeins. We lay out all the skeins. We black and white take a black and white photo and we pick the closest for you. It is hand dyed. So there is gonna be some color discrepancies in all of them. I mean, this one, look at all these blues. But then you see the pinks over here, the peep yellow, a little bit of that yellow green. So, so beautiful. Heather described it as muted mermaid shoes. -ish. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So crazy beautiful. We've got some options on what you can make out of it. Um, I love that your first one was a t-shirt. Yay. Um, okay, so this is Skyline T. I I love this detail That's right pretty. here. I don't know, can you guys see it? Right there here. Have, yeah. There's like a little soft ribbing there. This would be gorgeous for that. I just wanna see, worked flat. So that's kind of nice. If you're a machine knitter, that means you could knit all of probably there. I'm not sure how it's constructed, but you can knit a majority of it on the machine. 34 to a 66. Great. Oh, it is top down. How come it says it's knit flat? Good Lord. It is not knit flat. But anyway, so you could do from the top down and then put it on the machine, or there's even a pullover if you're interested in a bigger one. Now, even though this is fingering weight, it easily knits up at a uh, 20 stitches over four inches. So what I like to say about that is don't get nervous about it being a fingering weight, like tiny needles, you, it's all about getting gauge. I could say that for me to get 20 stitches, I probably need to be on a seven, maybe even an eight. So it doesn't matter. It's beautiful. It's going to make it really, really drapey. I'm doing that gauge now on a seven. Yeah. Here's the detail we were talking about. It's a saddle shoulder. Love it. And you could do this and just make it short sleeves. All right, here's another one. Love this. V-necks are so popular right now. This is uh, Only Blouse by Anka Strict. I like the details that she does. This uh, fully fashioned uh, decrease. It's almost like it's I-cord. 
that rolls mm -hmm. because she wouldn't have you sew it. But look at this little detail right here where she has, um, there's a pearl here and a pearl here. And that gives you this nice soft line. I love that. It really does look like an I-cord, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Okay, this is, uh, I don't know, Melanie. I, I don't know how to do the double lot O's. We're gonna say Boem. Again, another V-neck. I wanna tweak something in our search. I'm gonna kick it out of fingering because it can knit up at DK really easily. And then that just gives you a little bit more variety and bigger needles, which is my, my thing. We'll look at all the other ones Susan did, but just to show you a few more. That's cute. Mm -hmm. That'd look pretty in this yarn. Yeah. Wow. That little shift. Yeah. You could put a little mohair in it. You can that see there's gorgeous. some fuzz or not. And then make it short sleeve, long sleeve. Look at all these people. That's attractive. Uh, let me see, because we have coordinating colors. I feel like there we go. All right. So here is the Sylvie Shawl by Tony Lipsy in different colors. Ooh, that's crocheted. crocheted. Yeah. That's fantastic. And I know Joyce is on for the crocheters. This is beautiful. We have quite a few colors that we picked as options. Um, if you want to do a one skein, two skein, three skein version, I think. Uh, Azure Cove is just one of my favorites. Look at how just, gorgeous. It just pops. It does. It pops the color so that you're going to get a big variety and really nice contrast in this one. This is, um, I feel like it's... Sandy, we do not. We only have it in fingering this time. No, no worsted. No worsted. This is Tunisian Crochet. But you know what, Sandy, you could double strand it and it would be worsted. Yeah. And it's essentially the same cost. I do that a lot of times if I don't have what exactly I need. Ooh, I love this one. This is the full fade. That is also crocheted. I kind of went down a rabbit hole. I found of crochet. some good ones this morning. Yeah, yeah, this is great. And I like that you're going in the little ditch. So that makes it a little bit, you're going in the space, which is so pretty. This is my kind of crochet. Mm-hmm. I do like the, kind of the dot to dot thing. Um, I think this is a beautiful, look at how the lavender. So pretty. This is lavender bloom, color number 049. So I'm gonna do this so you guys can see the colors we're suggesting to coordinate with it. If you like a little bit of green like I do, Joshua Tree is a beautiful green that leans yellow, but it really does, you can see here, it really pulls the color. That's the thing is when we're looking for colors, we need this to make this look brighter. And you can really see it when it happens. Joshua Tree, color number 805. All right, let's see. We, oh, Crystal this, obsessed with that. Right. <laughs> right? Um, okay, here's a little one. And this is so faded, pint size, but you can do a bigger size. Let me show you right here. That was five different colors. I think with the one skein of five, you can do both sweaters depending mm -hmm. on your size. And we definitely have five colors to showcase. The next one that we think looks gorgeous is Pinky. Pinky is one of my favorites. It's really like a carnation pink, but it does lean a little bit blue. Color number 021. Look at that. It really makes the pink pop. So pretty. So look at the difference. I want to show this because I really think oh, it's amazing what color does. It's, I know it's very springy, but my goodness, look at that gorgeousness. Uh, that would be fun. And what's <clears throat> her giant fade pattern? Free your fade, find your fade. Um, the, the yes. The really big one. Mm -hmm. That would be really pretty. 
All right, let's see what else do we have available in, we always do hot right now. I mean, look at this, petite net, petite net, petite net, petite net. It's Everywhere. crazy. I do think you're gonna wanna pick something that is doesn't have all of this, even though I do love this. Uh, it gets lost in a variegated, but you know, you could do the flowers in the variegated and the pretty. background. Ooh, that'd be gorgeous. Okay, I like this one. Squishy. Mm -hmm. Look at how big this is too. This is, in wow. Europe, you see girls wear these. Yeah. Like, it's their head, it's like on a turkey platter. <laughs> I gotta see that one. Oh, wow. Let me do it a little, maybe this one's better. There we go. Yeah, okay. Really pretty. Oh, I keep losing it because I'm not popping it. Okay, let's see what else. I think something like this would be pretty. Oh, nice. And there is a cardigan version. The broken rib would really break up pooling that you could get. Is broken rib the same as mistake rib? I mean, I would say it is, but you never know. People make up their own um, what things are. Okay, this oh, is gorgeous. Fun. This pebble tunic by Hohi. You could make it shorter if you don't want it that long. That's attractive. I would do short sleeves and lot, a lot less. Less body. Less body. But, but it is a tunic. So relaxed fit, droopy pockets in the front. Gorgeous. Definitely, is, there's positive ease on this one, probably quite a bit. Now, why we're saying you can use fingering weight, even though it says DK, is you can easily get that gauge without it being so dense. So it's a much more drapey fit, which is kind of what we like here. Look at all this. Hmm. You, I have yarn for this. I think this is beautiful. If you did a solid and then the variegated mm, is fun. like that beige, so it changes. I even like the mohair or whatever's in it. Let's see what she's using. I don't even know what these yarns are. So pretty. Oh, mohair silk. I'm not surprised, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, this is the designer of Badger and Bloom. Of course I oh, like her patterns. Nice. This is fun. I don't know if it's the right. Oh, yeah, that would work. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. How cute is that? Just wear a bra that you like. <laughs> or a little tank top underneath. Okay, we've got two more colors that I think are fantastic with this one. This is Fortune Teller. It is a um, really beautiful coral. I'm going to set it right here so then you can see how it plays with the colors. I'm curious, and you can tell me what people say. What is your favorite coordinating color? I'm going to do this. I already know Susan's. You'd be surprised at my three color pick though. Really? Yeah. I would love to know. I have to see that one over there. Oh, okay, we can't do that one then. Not yet. So what would be your favorite color, Susan? And those of you that are watching, what would you put together with this? Honestly, it would be that one first. With, really? Yeah. Isn't that funny? That's a change for you. I know. Because, I mean, you can't go wrong with the purple, but this one just sparks it so much. It does. It makes it so much. Um, this one's super good, too, the pink. I, honestly, I would do either one of those before the purple this time. Wow. I'd do the solid purple. How about that? What's everyone saying? Uh, let me catch up. Uh, Pam says purple, crystal, Joshua tree. Nancy, the blue is gorgeous. Let me go backwards here. Deborah, pink, blue, purple. Elizabeth, the purple is gorgeous. Nancy Ingerson, sorry, Berg. 
Joshua Tree in the purple, Joyce Green and Teal, Trish Purple, Sharon Purple. You guys went super fast. Okay, now let me scroll the other way here. Uh, Susan Spicer Pink, Cindy Pert Pink, Dottie Blue, Carolyn, good morning. Elizabeth, yep, Aqua is great, so it's Pinky. Deb agrees with uh, me if I'm the Susan you're talking about. Catherine is pink. I love it's all these all people. over the board. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. I wanted to pull a couple more patterns. I think that's gorgeous too. Hold on. I always feel like we need a, that it's perfect for shawlettes too. Yeah. Because you just need one skein to create something gorgeous. I mean, Hitchhiker is great for one skein. Mm -hmm. Now this is Simply Curious Shawl by Helen Stewart. Ooh, I love her patterns. It's so well written. And nothing's crazy about that. This is you. Yeah. I, I, you have both ends of the spectrum. Yeah. Right? Yarn over two together, you love. Uh, and bazillion short rows. And miles of stock and never garter. I don't yeah. mind. Yeah. But give me a sweater and I'm like, ooh, I don't know. <laughs> this is, it's the same amount of yardage. I don't know why it's different. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, this is the gal that I love her stuff. This is Knititude. She did the even easier eyelet yoke. Now she's in a wedding dress, but you don't have to be. But it's this beautiful wrap that you twist around. She does videos on it. I just think this is, I think it's a little big for her. So let's just say, maybe it's a little big, but how gorgeous is that? With like a pair of dressy pants. Um, I feel like you could use this with a strand of something fuzzy to kind of get the gauge that you need because it is 17 stitches over four inches. It's a scarf that doubles as a wrap, triples as a sweater, the wrap me up sweater scarf. I got more to catch up on. Jerry likes purple, Devin fortune teller and lavender. Angelus likes them all. Shelly, pink or turquoise. Kanji, guess she's the oddball. She likes the coral. You are not the oddball. I really want to show the other color. Okay, this, that they did it for their oh, wedding. Fun. How gorgeous is that? Oh, I love it. I just think on a night out, yeah. a nice little wrap. That is definitely in my two I, knit list. I wonder how much of it is flat and could be done on the machine. I think a lot of it. Because the construction of that I one love intrigues how she me. Says this. They could be sold in. You could actually sell ten of the already made ones. Nice. With written consent, she's very nice to work with. Let's see how many people have made it. Because I just think it's gorgeous. Six hundred and ninety-four people. Wow. I do think you have to try it on, right? So, like this is too big. Mm -hmm. You have to keep trying it on. It should not be off your shoulders like that, in my opinion. Okay, here's a good one. Look at that. Oh. Yeah? Now I really want to know the construction. See, it's a better fit the way that she did it. It is flat, though. You can see that. Yeah. Let's see. I love all these women are doing it for their um, wedding. Crystal, did you say you had this pattern? Let us know the construction if I'm reading that right. Maria's in Baja. Internet keeps buffering, but loving this live. Oh, thank you. I really think we could knit this part on the machine, right? Oh, if it's that. Oh, and yeah, then for you sure. Decrease, 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 and then you have arms. Yeah. Just so gorgeous. And what's lovely about this is people say how many they've cast on. Wow. This is all through the back loop. Not for me. <laughs> I hate through I the know. back loop. Cast on 54 on a five needles because she wanted an extra small. You know, if they wanted to do in that back loop to bring it in, couldn't you do some cables instead? A ribbed cable? You could. That would be mm -hmm. more fun. Okay, this is cute. Look at this. A little shorter. So beautiful. When one of you guys gets married, I want you to make this. Not Don't you, because you're already married. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. I just think so, so, so beautiful. Joyce says she has yarn to crochet one like that. Oh, I love it. 
Would you pair it with any of the other variegated colorways? Yeah, I think you could ombre it, but you would basically have to figure out where the center of it is in my mind because I'm particular, Devin. Like if you found out where the center is, you'd have to do a little bit of math. We'll just say it's 90 inches. Melanie wants to do it on the machine. Yeah, so at 45, you would want to figure out that it's pretty even, right? And then you got your sleeves. I would probably do the sleeves variegated because it's something that you would see. So in my mind's eye, I would do the sleeves and I would probably do a blending of a two row, two row uh, of the two. So it's essentially striped as opposed of blocks because mm, yeah. I think that would be really pretty. She has a cables version now. Let's go back. I'm gonna let Susan talk about her favorite color. And I'm telling you guys, this, you would not know. Melanie says there's a cable version now. I just said that. Okay, I was trying to read. <laughs> okay. Melon Bomb, gorgeous. This this, this is, is beautiful. Crazy, but, um, go away phone, can't answer you. I don't know why, but these three right there, I just think are so pretty. There's just something about them. It pulls in here. It's just so pretty. What do you guys think? Am I crazy or not? These three? Yeah. No. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't turn on me phone. There we go. Do you know why? I feel like they're too similar. Yes and no. Because you, you would have to put it in the middle. Like they couldn't be next to each other because you yeah. would lose it. Is it your family? Probably. You're like, we're live. I, I, I can't answer you right now. But we, we were playing with these two last night, and then we played with these two, and then we did that, and we're like, oh. Just so fun. I don't know what Maybe I do, but just Maybe we the color. need a fall knit along on this sweater. And I know, can you believe we're thinking about fall already? But we have to. I'm looking for the other one. Oh, ones. for this, oh, the cable one, maybe? She's lost weight, though. I can tell you that. Kathy likes the brighter color. I'm trying. Nope, not crazy. Thank you. Love I, melon bone. I actually really like this one. This is it in a sweater, the crossback sweater. I think this is gorgeous. Does the forest green match the green in Froggy Kisses? Um... Let Not grab it. Froggy Kisses yeah. is darker. It is scorched lime, but it could work. <laughs> my my sister says it's not me calling you. Oh, thank you. It's probably my husband. After five years, <laughs> he doesn't realize you're alive. Uh, I wouldn't do it. It's too similar. Yeah. She works out of Instagram. Crystal, you pull up the pattern that had the tie in the back. I don't know which one that was. A it, tie in the back. All I right. will put everything on the collective so Here we, we don't find it right now. This is, these are some of our sweaters, all different, right? I mean, just beautifully well-written. This one, all tied up. I like that. Very pretty. That would be... Crystal says right there. So I guess we're on the right one. Chunky. So if you wanted to do it out of this, you would definitely need to double strand and add something. Because it's 15 stitches. Add a swatch. What? <laughs> it's an add a swatch. Yeah. I would definitely swatch that. But you would need to double strand the pop-up and add like a mohair to it. To You need a little the something. Alpaca super light. Oh, that, yes, that would be great. Could you triple strand? I've done that. Oh, no, of, yeah, you definitely yeah. could. And I love the way that it looks. Look how cute this is. Oh, that is cute. Kettle corn. Is that fun? This would be great out of the speckled. I like the v-neck. I just think she has a really nice design aesthetic. This is, again, something. Maybe you're double stranding worsted. A little bit sweet and a little bit salty. Yeah. Cute. 
Oh my gosh, Melanie. Okay, you guys look at the name of this. No, oh, jeez. This will be my next bulky. I love. It's a little too long, but so cute. Is that the same designer? Yes. That's hilarious. Shit, that's quick. Yes. I love it. She's got. She's got. She's fun. I was trying to find the other wrap that we were talking about. I'm gonna say. Well, let's just go this way. Here's her newest one. Is that it? Gorgeous. I gotta get her to go through the back. <laughs> All right. I don't see a cabled one yet. Maybe this one? Oh, this might be it. There's it's a, it's got a little something. Eyelets? It's a twist it? of yeah. something. How fun. Snowfall sweater, scarf. All right, we'll talk about what we're wearing. We didn't even get to our other item. I'm not surprised that doesn't happen often. All right, what I'm wearing would be beautiful out of this using one main color. Contrast number one, ooh, contrast number two. Now, if it were me, I probably would do this because you guys know I love pink and green together but this beauty we actually have an on-demand class for it it uses three skeins of a fingering weight one skein of three different colors it is called temperance shawl knit on a size six needle which is normal for us six or seven really good drape lots of striping you start down here um, you start down here. This is color number one. And two. And two? Yeah. It's, it's two very and soft. Yeah. I can't even see it. And then the other one. You can see right here the difference. Here's color number one, color number two, color number three. I thought this would be super muddy and weird and I would never have put these colors together, but it works. Yeah. I think they sent them to us. They did. But look at how beautiful this is. It's one of those ones you're not, I don't even think you use all three, all of all three. I used a lot, but I don't remember. But I love this. Isn't that nice? Well, you knit this? I did. Oh, I was thinking it was Lynn. Mm -mm. Is that beautiful, you guys? I like when the, the um, tails are long because then it kind of like swings around. One of my favorites. All right, let me turn it around, show you what Susan's got on. If you heard the jingle jangle of the keys, um, Brenda came in. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah. You haven't worn this in a long no. time. This one is Spectrum. It's a Shibui Knits pattern, and it's double-stranded for most of it, and then two strands of the mohair lace weight. We need the machine knitters to make this. Yeah, I did this one on the machine. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I think the other side has right the different sequence. Do you guys see that? So it is mohair the entire time and then fingering, right? Ooh, two-ply mohair. Yeah. New project. Isn't that gorgeous? This is a, a Melanie machine knit project. Yeah, it's, it's really big. There you guys can see it. And the sequence changes... Small on this side, medium in the middle, and bigger sections on that other yep, side. Yeah, look at that gorgeousness. Oh, we got to put that on the list. We need like a machine knitting yeah. list for people to do. Beautiful, really well done. And got a slip stitch edge, but what's fun is there's beads in the bind off. They don't show much, just add a little bit of weight. Mm hmm. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, this, you can really see it. Yeah. So there's mohair and then mohair held with a fingering weight, which is this darker one that you're seeing. So it does feel, you get like a thin and then a thick, thin and thick. Gorgeous. All righty. Goodbye, peeps. We are excited to see you always on a rainy day. We have lots of people come in today, which is always fantastic um, for us. But I will be teaching, I think, twice.
12 to 2. And then also I have the date night from 2.30 to 4.30 for those that have signed up for it on demand. So have an amazing day. Enjoy your days off. And we will see you live on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Thank you. Bye-bye.